Hi friends, this is Kristen Fagan here with Softlex Company and I will be live in just a moment. Hey there, this is Kristen Fagan with Softlex Company with a new episode of Free Spirit Feeding. Hope you are doing well out there in the interwebs today. Hi, Gail, great to see you. Today we're gonna be doing some knotting. So I've been playing around um, with knotting since we had our beading party with Danielle Wicks, John Bead and just trying to get it, trying to get it worked out. And I, hi, Angela, creative Kristen, that's sweet of you. <laughs> Cute, hi, Gail and Lydia. I did. Hello, hello. I did enjoy last Monday off. I hope that you all enjoyed a little extra relaxation in your week with last Monday off. Um, and I'll be off again. Oh, no, I'll be here next Monday. I'll be off the following Monday because I'm going on vacation. <laughs> hi, Susie. Hi, Teresa and Veronica. Hi, Pam, Paula and Stacy. Hello, hello. Um, so I'll kick it off with what we've got going on for sale at the softlexcompany.com website. We are doing bulk wire, beading wire sales for our softlex and our soft touch beading wire brands. And what we consider bulk is 100 foot and 1,000 foot spools. So um, now is a great time to stock up on your favorite colors or to stock up on the basics, the neutrals, um, anything that you might want to use for the holidays if you're making beading wire ornaments or um, if you're just making lots of jewelry to get ready for the holiday season. Uh, we have a fantastic deal. It is our deepest discount of the year. You'll get 30% off of all diameters. So that is the fine the medium and the heavy of Softlex beading wire. And um, our heavy and our fine come in a few neutral colors. They come in our satin silver, which is the original Softlex color. They have black, white, bone, copper, and antique brass um, for the fine. I think heavy might just be the satin silver, the copper, and the antique brass. And um, what else? Oh, and soft touch. So soft touch, we've got the very fine, the fine, medium, and heavy diameters of soft touch. Soft touch comes in just the satin silver color with the exception of the very fine that comes in white and black as well. And if you want to know more about all of the different diameters and what they're used for, we just posted a fantastic blog on Friday of last week. So you can go to softlexcompany.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, and you'll see um, we talk about each of the brands and each of the diameters with an example of the best practices, recommendations of usage, and a project to go along with it. So really great great blog. And if you're watching this later and it's not on the homepage anymore, you can find our beading blog by going to the softlexcompany.com website, click on the School of Design, and then click on the beading blog link, and then you'll see all of our, our blog posts there. Hello. Hi, Brooke and Bobby and Denise. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So that's what's going on this week for sale. If you are a wholesale designer customer, we do even have a sale going on for you. You'll have to check your email to get the details on that one. 
Um, the bulk sale for retail customers, uh, you don't have to do anything. You just add it to your cart and you'll see the 30% off discount. It does not include any of our colors that are in the closeout section. So it has to be the items in the main area of shopping for the soft flex or the soft touch beading wider category. And for designers, wholesale designers, you do have a coupon code. So check your emails for that information. And the both sales, the coupon code for designers and the 30% off bulk for retail ends tomorrow, September 14th, 2021 at midnight Pacific time. So that's what's going on over there at the website. Um, well, let me get you looking at my beading table here and talk a little bit about knotting. So I started on this little guy right here. Let's see. And I'm using Softflex black medium 0.019 diameter to knot in between these beads. I think these are a size th three by five millimeter rondelle. So that's what they look like here. They're this gorgeous AB finish smoky uh, check glass bead. And we do sell these at softlexcompany.com. We have a limited supply in two different colors. This is the AB one. So you'll see it's got that AB flash on it. And I think they are three by five. Aren't they so pretty? I really love them. The other color is more of a clear. So it just has like that um, clear, maybe there's like a little bit of silver on it. I'm, I'm not remembering exactly, but this is the one that has the AB finish on there. So you see all the different colors. So that's what I'm using for beads. If you watched our beading party with Danielle Wicks, um, we did, something like this. This was the one that I did during the video. It was my first time trying just a regular overhand knot with the Softlex beading wire. This is the Chrysoprase color with some um, pretty pearls. And this is just do doing a one strand, which is what I'm gonna share with you today. But Sarah, and Danielle, they both did a two strand knot, which is what I did with this one here. And you'll see the two strand knot gives you a little bit more weight with that wire. And I struggled a little bit with getting the knot kind of close to the bead. This was only my second, second time trying. And I will say that these pearls, even though I got two wires through them, it was a little bit snug. So I think that that um, also made it a little bit more difficult for me with this particular bead. If the bead holes were slightly larger, I think I would have had a little easier of a time. Thanks, Damien. Damien just shared meet jewelry designer Danielle Wicks, our beading blog where we um, recap uh, that beading party and talk about Danielle and some of her design examples. Hi, Julie. Hi, Rosalinda and Angela. Yeah, so either way, they're really pretty. Um, this was the two strand of beading wire version. This was the one that I did with just the one strand. And even though I didn't get the knots quite as close on this one either, since it was my first try. It is a little softer, and I think it just fits these particular beads a little bit better to have the one strand. So, in thinking about this design today, I decided to just do the one strand knot again, because you just can barely get two strands through it. I was able to get two strands through these rondelles, but it just wasn't, um, 
that easy. And I was concerned that in some cases I might not be able to use the bead because it might not fit through. So in that case, I just decided to do it with one strand. So I pulled out these little um, metal beads and charms from the Purple Petals bead mix. So here's the Purple Petals bead mix that we had for sale. It's currently sold out, but it was for our last um, design kit mix. And so if you still have that, you'll have these little charms in there. And if not, you can just substitute any other little dainty metal charms for the project. I'm going to be using a pair of knotting tweezers. And I have about 40 inches of black, black onyx soft flex beading wire medium, which is our 0.019. And this was a hundred foot spool. Um, so this was one of the ones you would get your 30% discount on today and tomorrow. And black is a great color. I'll say that I looked at what people were purchasing and of course satin silver was really popular. I also saw that our antique brass color was popular, which is great neutral tone. And then if you were to pick up like a black or a white or um, even the copper, those would all be great neutral beading wires to have in that larger 100 foot spool. These 100 foot spools are also great if you like to do some knitting or kumihimo or things where you're gonna be some macrame because you can macrame with soft flex too. Um, things where you're gonna be using a little bit more wire, projects like that. It's nice to have the 100 foot spool and then um, with that 30% discount, that is just the best deal you're gonna get like per, per foot, right? Okay, so as you see, I've already been, I've already got started here. I just started with a knot on this one end and then strung on my little rondelles. I went eight and then I put a little charm and then I did eight more and then I put a little, the little rows and then I did eight more, a little charm. And I'm hoping to get this to be about three times wrapped around for my wrist, but I'm not sure if it'll make it or not. Um, I don't know if I'll run out of wire or if I'll run out of beads. I don't know, so we'll have to see. At least I know I'll get be able to get two. Yeah, so I'm up to adding another, another charm here. So I just did an overhand knot to start it on this end before I did my beads. Now I'll string this one and then do another overhand knot. And let's move this so I don't. Knock all those beads out of the way. Okay. Glenda is asking question. My grands want to make stretchy bracelets. What do you recommend for the stretchy string high school age? We sell a product called Stretch Magic that you can find over at softlightcompany.com. I also recommend you picking up some of the specialty glue. And um, we also have a ton of different videos on the Softlex Company YouTube channel that you can watch for how to use the stretch cord. Okay, so after I string my bead, I'm just gonna take my wire, go around two of my fingers, and then pull the wire through the center, just like so. Just a regular overhand knot. I'm gonna take my tweezers and grab a hold of the wire that the beads are strung on, and I'm going inside the little loop and I'm holding my tweezers with the flat side down towards the bead. And then I'm just gonna pull this wire strand till it kind of comes closer. And then I use my fingers and my nail to just pull it down as close to the bead as I can get. And I think this is one area where I can probably 
um, use some practice on getting this close to the bead. Sometimes I get it a little closer than others. Lydia is asking, do you measure your wrist and then multiply it by a certain number to have enough beading wire? So Danielle suggested double. So if I want this to be 21 inches and I cut a little over 40 um, originally, but I, I, so I think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> but I don't know, you know, with every bead, size change and things like that, you might need a little bit more, or a little bit less wire, depending on how many knots. If you've got bigger beads and you're making less knots, uh, you might not need to double it. If you've got smaller beads and you're making more knots, it's possible that I might have needed to even have more. So I think doubling it is a good rule of thumb and then maybe even going a little bit larger if you're not sure. Glenda is asking which size. Yeah, it's... um. Glenda, we always suggest using the cord or string that is large enough to fit through your beads. So um, I prefer doing the stretch magic design where you double up the wire. So in that case, I would use, uh, and I know there's three sizes. I think I would use either the smallest or the medium size. And then I like to do double strand. So it's got to fit through my beads with two strands. If you're not going to be doubling it up and you're just doing the one strand, then I would go with the thickest that'll fit through your beads. So if you've got larger beads, you're going to want the thickest. If you've got smaller beads, then you might have to drop down a size. Aren't those tiny charms cute? I think I'm gonna pull out enough beads so I don't lose track. So I've got two here and I'm gonna pull out six, three. That'll help me while I'm talking to not lose track of how many I'm doing. <laughs> So who is already working on Halloween jewelry? I've seen a few people post some Halloween designs. And I'm curious who's got holiday, who's got Halloween on the brain already? And then sometimes I like if I just don't get it nice and tight. I just use the tweezers and I kind of tug it in the opposite direction so that I can get that knot a little bit tighter. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for joining us. Sarah says she made several pairs of earrings for Halloween over the weekend. Definitely have it on the brain already. D has done a few also, loves Halloween. I am always last minute with stuff. Like it's just, I'm getting better because um, I think just seeing what everyone's making and, and being a little more in tune with like, oh yeah, people are already doing Halloween designs. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit better. But normally I'm like, oh, Halloween's next week. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Becky's still working on rearranging her stuff so that she can get to her jewelry supplies. It takes a little while, doesn't it, to get yourself reset up. Oh, so take the bead that was 
go that way after I do it just to kind of get it even closer. Good idea. One of the reasons why I decided to do a wrap bracelet is I did feel like I don't have my knots totally um, nice and neatly close to each bead. I haven't gotten that proficient with it yet. And I thought by making a wrap bracelet, it'll help uh, disguise that a little bit. <laughs> All right, so now when I string on a new bead, I'm just gonna pull that down towards the knot a little bit and see if that helps make it a little tighter. Mary Kay says, she is last minute as well, but each year strive to get it done earlier. Usually it doesn't work. Yeah, you're in the same boat with me. It just creeps up on me all the time. Susie B says, Miss, missed which beading wire you were using. Can you show it again, please? Sure can. I am using the Black Onyx Softlex beading wire medium diameter, which is 0.019 in, um, in the black. Hi, Glenda. You're gonna want to not. You're gonna want to glue down your knots for the stretch magic. You don't need any glue for working with this soft flex beading wire, but if you're asking about the stretch magic, you're gonna want to put a little dab of glue where you knot. And if you watch our tutorials on using stretch, it'll make more sense. Yeah, I'm, I feel you there, Sarah. Sarah says, I'm always trying to find something in my stash. Seems like the more I put it where I think it should be, the more time I spend looking for it. <laughs> I always have that like, oh, I'm going to reorganize and I'm going to put things in a space that makes total sense, right? And then when you're going back to look for it, it makes no sense at all. And you end up looking at the last like three different places that you had put it. Because <laughs> each time you decide there's some place better. It's kind of fun how the Softlex is a little bit like, um, has a little bit of a give to it too. So you, if you've ever done any knitting with soft flex wire, you would notice this as well. Like it's not totally taut. There's a little bit of flexibility. So again, we're just doing um, overhand knots. So after I string a bead, go around my two fingers and tuck it in through the center, pull that through. And then I use these knotting tweezers just to kind of grab a hold of it. And I think that the point of the, these tweezers is to really be able to get your knot close, closer to your bead than you'd be able to do on your own. So speaking about Halloween, we do have a few of our Owlleen Halloween um, design kits left. I think we're about a little over 80% sold out. Sarah will be doing a video with them, with the kits, the um, unboxing and the tutorial at the end of this month. Uh, so you could stay tuned for that. I think it's September 29th, maybe. It's usually the last Wednesday of the month. And that'll be at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And in addition to the kits, we also have 
this really lovely bead strand that goes along with it. We still have these available. Um, these are from our friends over at Jesse James Beads. They make them exclusively for us here at Softlex Company. And you can still pick up that Owlene bead strand and the kit. Oh, you're welcome, Mel. Yeah, their kits are pretty cute, and I think we have some fun new Halloween-inspired items coming on online to the website in the next uh, week or two, so keep your eyes peeled out for that. Get us all in the Halloween spirit. Let me see how long this is before I keep going. Okay, when I actually pull it, it comes to about 10 inches right now. Maybe I'll work up towards the 14 and uh, do a double. Just gonna take out eight beads. And I mentioned it just briefly before, but you could not soft flex wire um, like this with an overhand knot. You can do a figure eight style knot as well. We have a diagram for that on our website in the tips and tricks section. And you can macrame knot with it. So it's really quite special in that way. There's not um, many other beading wires that I know of that you can actually knot and it does not lose any strength. A lot of times if you knot other products, you would actually uh, compromise the strength at, of the stringing product at that knot and it could snap off. That is not the case with Softlex or Soft Touch. Yeah, very good question. Pamage is asking, was there a bead mix for Owlene? Um, there's a bead mix inside of the mystery design kit. And at the end of the month, when we reveal the design kit contents, then we have a few that we put online. We always get a little bit of an overrun just so that we have um, a little extra in our, in our stash. And those will go up the day of the reveal. So September 29th. So every time I'm putting on a new bead, I'm just kind of pushing it back against that knot a little bit too. Oops. Okay. I have my um, beads on a little bit of a board today just because my white background is looking a little dingy. <laughs> so, but it's made the distance from the bottom to my camera a little bit shorter. So I apologize that I've hit it just a couple of times already. Maybe I should move over just a smidge. Okay. 
if you had gotten the summer rain kit um, a couple of months ago, you got a very similar strand of beads like the one I'm using right now. So I'm using them in this AB, smoky AB finish, but you got a very similar little strand in that summer rain kit. So if any of you got that kit and remember these little beads, now you can purchase some extras online. Uh, Dee is asking, can I see the bigger bead ones on the top of your picture, please? Sure. So here is the one knot, one strand knot, I should say, with eight millimeter glass pearls. And these are from John Bead. They were um, the beads that Danielle gave us when we did her beading party. And then this one is also the eight millimeter glass pearls with the spinel color, and that is the two strand knot. So you'll see the two strand knot makes them a little bit, makes that knot a little bit fuller. I'm gonna have to give this one a try with some different beads again, something that has a little bit larger of a hole so that I can see how, um, how that works when it's not quite as tight getting the two strands through like that, like those were. Yeah, they're very pretty, D. They're, they came in really, oh, I have a couple of others here too. Um, they came in really pretty colors. Here's a few others that are at my table so that Danielle had sent from John Bead. And they are in like a purple luster, a creamy color. And then this one's kind of like a, a bronze tone. Really nice. I think you can find John Bead at Michael's and Joanne. Lisa says that I love the single knot, the double knot the double knot looks more casual. Yeah, I guess it does because it, it takes up a little bit more uh, visual weight, huh? I've been kind of on a kick of using tiny beads lately. I don't know what that's all about, but I think we all go through certain phases, right? I guess that's not really true. And I mean, it's true that we go through phases, but I guess it's not really true that I'm on a kick <laughs> for little beads because I just made a necklace last week that was all big beads. <laughs> so <laughs> it must've just been my mood right now. <laughs> Some days you want something a little bit daintier. Beverly says she is loving tiny beads as well. I just looked over on my table here and I have this huge, um, this strand of like big recycled glass beads. And so I was like, oh, maybe, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm just in the mood for little beads today. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. Lisa says, tiny beaded bracelets look so good stacked. Look at how fun this is turning out. One more. I'm going to do one more and see where my length is. 
Oh, I think we have a blog post about that, that our friend um, Lisa is asking, how can you tell if your pearls are glass or coated plastic or real? I would not be the right person to answer that question because I, I do not work with pearls uh, very often. And I do know that our friend Lisa Khan wrote a wonderful article on our beading blog all about pearls. And I'm pretty sure she goes into what you need to look for. Um, I do also know that our friend Janie Yoshida over at the Bead Gallery Honolulu is really knowledgeable when it comes to pearls. And so she would be a great person to inquire with her about tips on how to, uh, all right, I am almost, I am almost got it for a double strand. So I think I'll go a little bit further and make it a two, make it a double wrap. Cause that is, um, yeah, that's a whole thing in itself. And I don't, I don't design with pearls enough to have a good understanding of that. So leave it to the people that know. I know Lisa Khan does a lot of work with pearls and she wrote a great article for us. And then, um, like I said, Jamie, yeah, you can find it. It's called eh, learn everything you need to know about pearls. And it's at the softflexcompany.com eating blog link right there. Thank you, Damien, for finding that so quickly. Lisa is saying another fun bracelet idea would be three strands knitted together every three quarter inch apart. Put a different pearl bead on each strand. Oh, that sounds lovely. That's a great idea. Beverly is saying she did have an entire strand of glass pearls lose their coating, leaving just white plastic balls. Good to know what brands and what to look for. It is, it's definitely, whenever you're buying, um, you know, when you're buying things like pearls or gemstones or uh, anything that's a little bit more of a specialty, if it's new to you and you're just, you just like the look of it and it's not a big deal, that's one thing, but if you, you know, it's good to really know what you're buying and what the quality is. Sometimes when the price is too good, there's a reason for it, or maybe you're just making some fun costume jewelry and that's fine. You know, they all have their place, right? All right, it looks like I could do one more little section. And then I'm gonna figure out how I want to how I want to end this. I'm thinking a little button. I know I have like a little baby button. Not really a baby button, but just a tiny, tiny button. <laughs> I think I've got some uh, really small little metal buttons in my stash that would work. So one thing I'm noticing is that I'm actually getting, I think I'm getting a little tighter as I go because it's a little more bendy on this side. So I think I'm, I must be getting the knots a little bit closer to the beads or maybe I need to kind of give it a little stretch. Whereas over here, it doesn't quite bend as much. It's really very cute though, right? Yeah, thanks Beverly. Let's see, I'm gonna turn it, put it around my wrist again. 
is it eventually will look like this or something close to that. I was definitely feeling like, what am I gonna make today? I kind of decided not too long before the video. So thanks for joining me on my little adventure. <laughs> my nodding adventure. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa says, you're so fun. I just changed the notifications to getting all. Thank you. So that's a good point. If you are on Facebook or YouTube, you can change the notifications in your settings for getting our videos so that you know when we're going to be on here. I'm here on Mondays and I go live. And then Sarah is here on Wednesdays and she shares a jewelry making tutorial then and then we have being parties or special events you know here and there but usually you can find us on mondays and wednesdays for sure and then we might have some other little special events sprinkled in if you're new to us on youtube be sure to like and subscribe it helps, you know, we're trying, we're, it gives us the opportunity to continue to do this and show up and chat with you and make jewelry every week. So I want to show you over here these big beads that I have. Look at the difference, right? I've got <laughs> playing with these little tiny ones now, and then I've got these really big, funky, recycled glass beads here to play with. I, I need some ideas for that. My um, husband, Bert, was just in San Diego recently, and he went to go visit a friend that was there, and uh, he brought those back for me. And I was so surprised. I'm like, you did good. You brought me home beads from the beach? <laughs> I'm like, this is something I would totally have purchased myself if I was there. <laughs> I was quite impressed. And although I love them just as they are, and I've been wearing them just as they are so far, I do know that eventually this will break down um, this thread and I need to restring it and come up with, um, <laughs> come up with something, something fun. Beverly says, ooh la la, it's true, ooh la la. I was so excited. Oh, and Dee is working all day on her craft wire jewelry. Hey, thanks for the reminder for that. I wanted to talk about that. Beverly says, great husband, so thoughtful. Yeah, I was, he goes, he, I'm surprised he didn't give it to me even sooner. He came home and like was home for a little while and it was like, oh yeah, I got you something. Like, you did? He goes, I found these on the beach. I was like, what? These are fantastic. What a great guy, D says. Yeah. He knows I was a little, I was, <laughs> I was a little, um, I was a little sad that I wasn't there. And then I didn't get to go with him. So that was very thoughtful. Lisa says, I like to pair Czech Druk with natural shell or mother of pearl, something with gleam and a dash of silver. That sounds so nice. 
like glamorous natural, right? All right, so let me put up my little banner here for joyful beating and just share with you guys what Dee was talking about. If I can find it, let's see. Oh, there it is. So we have a joyful beating challenge going on in the Softlex VIB studio group over on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, come join us over there. And all this month, we are doing prompts for making jewelry. Today's prompt is design using Softlex craft wire. And tomorrow is painted jewelry for National Coloring Day. So that means anything you've painted, a lot of times we've done like patina paints and stuff on metals, or maybe you've painted um, a little wooden type of pendant or embellished something with paint. Um, anything like that would work for tomorrow for National Coloring Day. And you can find the full that full list over in our, um, VIB studio group in the announcements as well. And we also post each daily's prompt. I'm gonna go grab some, a little clasp here. Um, and we give away, give away a prize, $10 randomly chosen winner each day. So any design that you share with the group is just an entry to randomly win and you can win $10 store credit. And we just do that as a little extra, a little extra fun thing to encourage you guys to share what you're working on and um, maybe win, maybe win $10 in the process. And I will say that the group is just, look at this cute tiny little button I've got. I'm gonna have to measure that and tell you what size that is. Um, there have just been so many beautiful designs shared in the VIB group this month. It's been a really fun month. I think the Joyful Beating Challenge always brings out a lot of participation and that's really makes it so much more fun. All right, so it looks like it's just a little shy of a half inch, it's a little over a quarter, maybe five eighths. Let's see what the millimeters say. It looks about eight millimeters. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's about the same size as that bead there. D says, yes, there has been. I like the challenges. Yeah, we like the challenges too. It's been such a great um, little addition to the group, right, Dee? To see what everyone's doing. We try and make them t um, fun prompts and kind of switch it up between more specific prompts and maybe more general prompts. And just get everyone beating and doing what we love to do, right? So you could create a little loop with seed beads or some other little beads on it, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it with the wire today since I'm kind of short on time. Stringing on a two by two millimeter crimp tube. And I'm gonna create a loop for my button. This is way too big because that would slide right out. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoot it down and get to a size that the button will fit and not be too big. One thing to keep in mind is that when you um, cinch down your crimp tube, it'll, when you crimp your crimp tube, I should say, it'll cinch down your wire just a little bit. So it might make your loop just slightly, slightly smaller. I'm using the magical crimping pliers. You can use any crimping pliers that work with a two by two millimeter crimp tube. Uh, this magical crimper will turn the tube into a uh, small little oval round bead. 
and it only works with the 0.019 medium soft flex beading wire and the 2.2. Um, well, I shouldn't say it only works with that beading wire, but it works the best, I think, with the medium diameter. And then it only works with the two by two crimp tubes. So you wanna get that centered right in the middle. Give it a good squeeze. It's gonna pinch the four corners and you're gonna turn that 90 degrees, put it back into the center notch of your crimping plier. And then I'm just going to squeeze it and then kind of roll it and squeeze it a few times all the way around. Hi, Pamela. Pamela is asking, just signing in now, did you list the materials you used in the comments? Um, no, I just discussed what I used. So I will be doing, I usually do a blog post on the Softlex company website where I list out all of the materials there. Um, but what I used is Softlex beading wire, black onyx, medium diameter, 0.019 for my wire. I used three by five millimeter rondel beads in this smoky AB finish. And then I use these little metal charms and beads that came in the purple petal bead mix um, that's now sold out. And this little eight millimeter button along with two by two millimeter crimp tubes in sterling silver. Dee still has trouble crimping so nice and she lets her husband do it because he loves the using the magical crimper. Well, I'm glad one of you do and that he can be your resident crimper in the house. It definitely seems like a tool that is either, you know, really you just click with it um, or you might not depending on how you use it. I know that for me, I really love it and I don't get every single one perfect, but most of the time I do and it just makes me a happy camper using this tool. I love the finished look of it. But that said, there have been designs I've had to restring or something, or I have to put a cover on or something on it because it just wasn't, it just didn't work out. And that's, that's a bummer, but it doesn't happen that often. So now you could just slip your little button through that end piece there and you have your, your little clasp. And this, I'm going to, I'm going to double this up so it's going to be like a two strand design. And I only have a couple of beads left. So I will say if you want to make it longer, if you want to make it three strands or four strands, you're going to need to get um, two packages of those two strands of those beads instead of one. really really cute i'll take a picture of it and share it in the vib studio group and i also tend to write a blog post that post on tuesday the day after my video um, to share materials and some more pictures of the design some weeks are just a little busy and i miss it and in that case you can always catch the um, materials list on our friday recap we do a friday recap blog as well so turned out pretty cute and i do love how you can just sort of scrunch it up it's really soft and turned out just as i was thinking it could be a choker for somebody or you can always do something where you want to if you wanted to add a little um just create a loop on each side here and add a little bit of chain or something in the back and just have that be the front if you didn't want to buy more beads or you could just buy two strands of beads and you'd have plenty to make a nice choker. Yeah. I want, let me take a final um, measurement of this and see 
what I got here. I have two of those left. You can make a cute little um, asymmetrical earring, one using one and one using the other. Or you can add one of them to like a little charm on the back by your button. Okay, so let me see what my, my total size came out to. Yeah, it just came out to 14 and a half. So that would probably fit comfortably as a double strand for me. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I have three beads left. So if you needed to make it just a smidge longer, you really could with just a couple beads left. So thanks everyone for being here with me today and doing some more knotting. Uh, that was my take on our little knotting tutorial and I just did it with the one strand. And then if you wanna watch the beading party, you'll see how Danielle Wicks does it and how Sarah does it. And that'll be a different, um, slightly different tutorial because they went ahead and used two strands, I believe in both of their designs, which came out really pretty as well. Um, I think Sarah did it with pearls and, oh no, she did it with um, some larger check glass and Danielle did it with some stone beads. So they're both really, really pretty designs. And yeah, you can knot soft flex beading wire. You could knit it, you can macrame it, you can kumihimo it. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can use your soft flex beading wire product and you can find all sorts of playlists for those techniques over on the Softlex Company YouTube channel. So come check us out over there. And 30% off for bulk, which is a 100 foot or a 1000 foot spool of Softlex and soft touch beading wire is good for today and tomorrow, September 14th, 2021. At midnight is when that ends. If you're a wholesale designer, be sure to check your email because you have a coupon code in there as well. That will end tomorrow. So thanks everybody, have a wonderful week. I will see you next Monday. And until then, happy beating or joyful beating and come join us over in the Softflex VIB studio on Facebook group to join the joyful beating challenge. <laughs> Pamela, yes, love it, Teresa, thank you. Thanks, Gail. Um, Pamela says, new to beading, I'm so amazed that you can use beading wire to knot. You definitely can use soft flex and soft touch beading wire to knot. You can't always do that with all beading wires because of the way that um, they're created, but you can definitely do it with soft flex and soft touch. So be sure to give it a try. All right, have a good one. Bye.